Bonjour à tous. Good morning to all. And today we are going to see about the grammar part 1 which is based on your first lesson. So before that we will recall once our previous video. So our previous video it's all about the dialogue component only. So in your first lesson some communication parts are there. So what are the communication parts? So first one let's greet someone and second introduce someone and third respond to a presentation and fourth present oneself and fifth take a leap these are the communication part in your first lesson and in this lesson you have two dialogues which is related to your communication part only and dialogue a three characters are there so who are they one is kumar and second divya and third one is vivek and kumar is a childhood friend of vivek and divya is a vivek's cousin so she is from uh, paris and her na uh, native is pondicherry and second dialogue that is dialogue b in this dialogue two characters are there so one is aditya and another one is divya they are uh, presenting themselves in a evening party so your lesson name is what a wind sorry it means a fancy evening party so and last one uh, we have to make a dialogue between you and your friends only so that dialogue topic is uh, you have to in invite your friends to an uh, evening party or your anniversary so and, uh, you have to make a dialogue between you and your friends so this is all about our previous video that is lesson 1 avin sorry so today we are going to see about the grammar part so in this series we are going to learn the grammar and you have your 18 exercises are there which is based on your first lesson grammar so i divided into two videos that is grammar part 1 and grammar part 2 so let's see the grammar part 1 first topic is les adjective possessive so possessive adjective and second l'interrogation that is the interrogation it is used to ask questions and third le pays et la nationalité countries and the nationalities and fourth les animaux animaux means animals only see the first one the girl having the dog my dog that my it refers to the possessive adjective and second that is a question mark it refers to the second topic anthrocosium and third uh, the three people over there holding the globe so that it based on the third topic le pays et la nationalité that is country and the nationalities and fourth is animals so let's see the first topic les adjectif possessif possessif adjectif so what is possessif adjectif ye possessif adjectif tells us that someone owns or possesses something it's like my you his her all all possessif adjectif so let us see the definition for the possessif adjectif possessive adjectives are the words that say to whom or to what something belongs so in english we have seen possessive adjectives so what are the uh, sorry we have uh, seven possessive adjective so what are the seven possessive adjective let's see my you are you were his her they are its so these are the possessive adjective in english see for example this is my house it's owned by you only and second this is your house so when you are talking to the one person and this is your house when you are talking to more than one person it's like a formal conversation uh sorry it's a plural one and the fourth one is this is his house and fifth this is her house and this is their house and this is its house so this is a possessive adjective in english see the image these books are mine so these books or belongs to mine so that is the example for this possessive adjective and second also 
this gift is yours so this gift is belongs to yours that is the meaning of these two images so let us see the possessive adjective in french so possessive adjective also agrees the gender one is masculine singular and another one is feminine singular and third is plural that is masculine feminine plural so my it refers to the subject is je so masculine singular mon feminine singular ma and masculine feminine plural is me it means my only it depends upon the gender and second your it refers to the two subject to it is used for the masculine singular ta it is used for the feminine singular and te it is used for the masculine and feminine plural and for third one is his or her it it refers to the subject is il or al and masculine singular so it is used for the masculine singular and sa it is used for the feminine singular and say it is used for the masculine and feminine plural and r r means uh, it refers to the no subject not it is used for the masculine singular again not it is used for the feminine singular and no it is used for the masculine and feminine plural and you are you are means that is a plural one it refers to the vu subject so both it is used for the masculine singular and again both it is used for the feminine singular and vo it is used for the masculine and feminine plural and there there means it refers to the il or al subject that is plural lur it is used for the feminine masculine singular and lur it is used for the feminine singular and lur that as you should not pronounce okay it is used for the masculine and feminine plural so these words come before your noun only so let us see the example for this possessive adjectives so first one possessive adjective in english my can be translated as mo ma me in french see the example mo it is used for the before masculine singular noun and ma before feminine singular noun and the feminine singular form ma comes mo when it comes before your vowel if the noun begins with vowel you have to change into what mo only let's see the example first one example stilo stilo means what pen so it's your masculine noun only so for the masculine noun you have to use mo adjective that is masculine noun begins with your consonant and second the translation of the mo stilo is pen my pen and mo nami ami it's also masculine noun only but it begins with what vowel so when the noun begins with vowel so you have to use mo only and the second one ami it ends with e that is a feminine noun only it also begins with what vowel so that you have to use mo only and ma table table it starts with consonant so consonant you have to use only ma only and me it is used before plural masculine noun and feminine also see the example stilo it ends with s yes, it's a plural noun so it's a masculine plural noun so you have to use me stilo that means my pens and table it ends with s yes, it's a feminine plural for the feminine plural also you can use the same only m e s and see the example same ma sir this is my sister and for the plural these are my sister say so me so and second one simo sak this is my bag and say so me sak these are my bags so sog sak it's a masculine noun only so you can use that mo and sir it's a feminine noun sister so it, you, you can use that ma so this is all about the possessive adjective so in this possessive adjective you have a two axes are there first one completely avec an adjective possessive so you have to complete with the possessive adjectives so here they didn't mention any subject so if they didn't any uh, they didn't mention anything means you can use whatever adjectives like mo ma me to ta te so so se it's your wish only 
here i'll give some example which is based on the first subject that is sure only so dash v a pondicherry so dash city is pondicherry whether it's your city or else her city or our city like that so you can use any adjectives so ma v a pondicherry that v it's here feminine noun so you can use that ma that is my city is pondicherry and second dash address a dus rio sukov pondicherry so address is also feminine noun but it begins with what vowel so that you can use what m o n if you are using ma means ma it ends with what vowel and the noun also begins with what vowel so that you can use mo so my address is 12 that is rio means what street that is sukov street in pondicherry and third one is dash par a home the fair par means what father so obviously it's a masculine noun only so you can use mo par a home the fair home the fair is one of the professional it's like a businessman so my father is a businessman and fourth one is dash mar a form of foyer form of foyer means it's a housewife so mar means mother so it's a feminine noun only so ma mar a form of foyer it means my mother is a housewife and fifth one is le nom a the monicole a shakti vidyalaya so ecol also feminine noun only but it begins with word vowel so that you can use monicole that is my school the name of my school is shakti vidyalaya so this is all about the first exercise complete with the adjective possessive and second complete avec les adjectifs possessifs this also complete with the possessive adjectives so first one dash shar pal so shar is a dear and pal is one of the name of the person that is a masculine person so that you can use my only so mo shar pal it means my dear pal wo a dash passport so where is your passport so your means you can use the to only so wo a to passport that is where is your passport so il a so pal is answering for this question so il a domo soccer so it is in my bag so pal is having her his passport so that he can answer like this it is in my bag sak it's a masculine noun and second one dash maison a they want l'école so <coughs> maison it's a exceptional noun it is not ends with e but it's a exceptional noun it's like a irregular noun so you have to memorize by yourself only so maison it's a sorry feminine noun only it is not ends with e so it's a feminine noun so my house is in front of my school so maison it's a feminine noun so that you can use ma <coughs> and c1 tu a dash livre de france here the subject starts with what tu so that you can use that uh, tu adjectives only tu adjectives means to ta te and see the noun livre livre it ends with e but it's a masculine noun it's a exceptional one so tu a ton livre de france do you have your french book and fourth one is we she here the sentence starts with what je <coughs> so that you can use that mo ma me see the noun a livre only so livre it's a exceptional one it's not a feminine it's a masculine only so je mo livre de france yes i have your french book and e1 dash montre a petite montre means what watch it's a feminine noun only so ma montre a petite so my watch is what small so this is all about the possessive adjective let us move to the second content that is l'interrogatio l'interrogatio means what interrogation so why it is used l'interrogatio pose the question en français so it is used to ask questions in french so en français on peut poser des questions de différentes façons so in french uh, sorry to ask a question in a different patterns so what are the different patterns so how many patterns are there so il existe 
trois types de questions. So it exists three types of questions. So one is le form familiar that is a familiar form. Familiar form means what? You uh, in that familiar form you can answer yes or no question. So one that can be answered by yes or no. It is used for the informal conversation. And second, le form standard. The standard form. Standard form means what? In this form, you can also form your yes or no question simply by keeping uh, to come words in the affirmative sentence. And third is le form soutenue, that is a sustained form. Sustained form means what? In French, the normal order of word is subject plus verb. So here, inversion method can be used. So inversion method means invert the subject and the verb. So first verb will come after that subject and this is all about the sustained form that is the inversion method that is called what sustained form. Let us see the first form, le form familiar that is a familiar form. What is the definition for the familiar form? Let's see. So la question sur le schéma de la phrase affirmative. So the question follows the pattern of the affirmative sentence. Affirmative sentence is like a positive sentence, right? And sujet, verb, complément. So this is the affirmative sentence. One is subject, verb and complement. And l'intonation change. Elle monte en fin de phrase. The intonation changes, it rises at the end of the sentence only. And next, sat form a familiar car, c'est un registre qu'on peut utiliser avec ses amis ou sa famille. So this is a, this form is a familiar because it is a register that can be used with your friend or family. So it is used to... Uh, it is used to that uh, informal conversation like uh, your friends or family. And see the example, vous parlez français. Vous parlez français, it's an affirmative sentence only. That is subject, verb, that complement. And you have to add that question mark. So you have to raise your intonation. So that is all about the form familiar. So do you speak French? So at the end of the affirmative sentence, you put question mark. See the formation for the familiar one. That is the form, familiar form. Affirmative sentence plus question mark. So this is the formation for the form, familiar form. And move to the second one. Le form standard. That is standard form. So le mark de la question est formule esque. The mark of the question is the phrase is that is meaning what is that and such form a standard car and politilise avec tous les mondes dans les commons au travail etc so this shape is standard because it can be used with everyone in shops at work etc extra etc and the still a form Le plus utilisé. So this is the most used form. So you can use whether it is a formal conversation, whether it is an informal conversation. You can use it with everyone. So see the example. Est-ce que vous parlez français? So do you speak French? So see the formation for this one. Est-ce que plus affirmative sentence. As affirmative sentence, it's vous parlez français. And end of the sentence, you put question mark. So this is all about the form standard. And third one is the form sustenue, that is sustained form. So let's see the definition for this one. L'invention du sujet et du verb. So that sustained form means what? Inversion method. So you can invert the subject and the verb. Et le mark de la question. It's a mark of the question. And le tire est obligatoire entre le verbe et le sujet. And tire means what? That iPhone is monetary between the verb and subject. So cette forme est certain new car, c'est une long élégante et formal. So this form is supported as it is elegant and formal language. So you can use a formal language also and see 
parle vu fonse so vu parle fonse it's a affirmative sentence here the sustain form you can interchange the subject and verb see parle it's a verb and vu it's a subject and fonse it's a complement at the end of the sentence you put question mark so do you speak french so attention poudre son phonétique on tu va parfois rajouter un te entre le verbe et le sujet see the example parle it ends with e and the subject il it begins with vowel so that you can use in between the verb and the subject you have to put t over there why because it ends with word vowel and the subject begins with word vowel so that you can use the t so you should not forgot this one so you have to keep your mind ici on rajoute un t t there is on the verb between the verb qui se termine par voyelle un sujet commence par voyelle so verb it's be ends with vowel and the subject begins with vowel so that you can use the t so this is all about the three question type one is <coughs> and the form familiar second one is the standard form and third one is the sustained form so this is the conjugation la machine du verb conjugation so we can use uh, uh, that auxiliary verbs what are the auxiliary verb at and avoir at means to be and avoir means to have so when you are interchange the subject and verb this is a conjugation for that sui it's a verb iphone you should not forgot okay and sho that's a subject and question mark sui sho am i and et you are you etil his he etal is she som nu or we at vu or you son til are they son tal are they so this is all about the at verb conjugation let's move to the avoid one avoid means to have and a is sho do i have at you do you have atil c a at ends with vowel and e it begins with vowel so that i put what t over there so atil does he have again also a tal does she have avon no do we have ave vu do you have on til do they have on tal do they have so this is the inversion method of the verb conjugation so i'll give some verb you have to conjugate like this only <coughs> in this topic you have two axes over there one is anthropological sample that is simple question it is based on the first type that is the form familiar affirmative sentence plus question mark so also kone also kone means what we know each other and what is the answer do we know each other so also kone at the end of the sentence you have to put a question mark and second when al pal francais she speak french and question does she speak french and il s'appelle mohanty so his name is mohanty il s'appelle mohanty question mark a next d1 vous êtes étudiant you are a student vous êtes étudiant or you are a student and elle est professeur she is a professor and elle est professeur is she a professor and question mark so this is the simple interrogation let's move to the second one répondez aux questions so answer the question vous êtes journaliste so are you a journalist no just we is a photography so in this content you change the profession and tell the answer see here the journalist is the journal it's one of the profession and when you are saying the answer you can use another profession so no just we so when you change into the answer you can use that je it means i am a photographer so like that and ye one vu parle espanol so do you speak espanol or spanish no je parle italien so when it comes for the language also you can use other language so no je parle 
Italian. So, no, I speak Italian only. And I'll be a She a model. Manakuna is a model. So, no. I like confuse. Confuse means what? No, she is a hairdresser. It's another profession. So, when you are using the same subject like I'll or il, so you can use also same subject only. And third one is Chutravaye al bank. So, do you work at the bank? So, you can choose any other professional place. So, no, Chutravaye or bureau. So, no, I am working in the office. And you like Canadian. So, it's one of the nationality. Canadian, it's a Canadian only. So, no, il is American. So, you can use any other uh, nationalities. And next, was that sportive? So, do you are you a sportsman? No, just we actor. No, I am an actor. So, this is all about the interrogation exercises. Let us move to the third content. Le pays a nationality, the countries and the nationalities. What is the meaning of country and nationalities? So, a person's nationality is where they are a legal citizen, usually in the country where they were born. So, for you, what is your nationality? You were born in India only. So, your nationality is what? Indian only. Like that. And people from Mexico have Mexican. People from India ha have Indian like that. And the people from Australia have Australian nationality. And every country and continent has an adjective that can be used to describe the people and things from the place. So, every continent and the countries have it agrees the gender like masculine and feminine gender and in French nationalities are capitalized okay when they are used as a noun so but not when they serve as a adjectives so adjectives when you are taking as a adjectives you should not use the capital letter so when you are used as a nouns you can use the capital letter only see the example je vois nature française as français it's one of the noun. Okay, it means I have a French car. So for that you can use that small letter only. And second one is je connais une française. So I know a French woman. For that you can use that French capi sorry capital letter. So this is the thing about the pays a nationality. That is country and the nationalities. See this image. La France it's a country and la France is it's a nationality so francais that's used for the masculine if it ends with e it is used for the feminine gender so let us see some countries and the nationalities le pays la nationalité le pays means country and la nationalité means what nationality so this second one is it is used for the masculine gender and third one is it is used for the feminine gender so first one is Lond. Lond means what India and the nationality is what Andean it is used for the masculine and Andean it is used for the feminine and second Lalman. Lalman means what Germany so nationality Alman for feminine Alman and Lothrish Lothrish means uh, Austria Austrian Autrician and La Belgica, Belgium, Balk, Belgian, and Balk, and La Denmark, Denmark only. So then was Danish, and then was it's used for the feminine. That is also Danish only. La Spana, that is Spain, Espanol, that is Spanish, Espanol. It is used for the feminine. You have to uh, <coughs> add some endings for the feminine. And next the France. France only. France it's a nationality and Francais it's used for the feminine and Lolonde. Lolonde means Holland. So Hollandas it means Holland, Dutch and Hollandas. And Litali, Italy only. Italian, Italian and Italian. And Le Novak, Novak it's a Norway, Novagian, Novagian. That is a port, sorry, Novagian only. And La Portugal, Portugal is a Portugal only. Portuguese, that is a Portuguese. And Portuguese. And Le Ruse, Ruse means Russia. And Ruse, Russian. 
and reuse expression that the same swelling for the both the gender and next lesya sweden swadwas swadish and swadwas so here you have, you have to add one e only and less v is switzerland and swiss swiss only and here also both the gender same spelling so this is all about the pair and nationality so in this thing you have one exercise really les apports internationaux et le vie so match the international airport les apports internationaux means international airport and le ville means what city so first one is charles de gaulle it's one of the airport and second hey through it is also one of the international airport anna it is also and john kennedy and leonard the vinci so in the right side some cities are there so you can match first one is charles de gaulle where it is situated in paris and second head through londres and anna it's situated in chennai and john kennedy in new york and leonardo da vinci leonardo da vinci rome so first uh, let's see the images first one is airport antonas you know that is a uh, charles de gaulle and second head through this one that is right hand side first one and third one is anna that is left si- left side second image and fourth john kennedy that is second second right side second and sorry in the center of the image that is john f kennedy and the fifth one leonardo da vinci right side second image so this is the international airport and fourth content is les animaux les animaux means what animals so what are the animals mammals insect and reptiles and birds are all animals only so in ordinary use animal means all living beings except humans so animals also living beings only a lion is a wild animal and a dog is a domestic animal so lion why it's wild animal it lives in forest so that's called it's wild animal and second it's a domestic one so it lives in your house only so that it's a domestic one and a common gender classification includes masculine and feminine it also agrees the gender that is masculine and feminine gender and masculine nouns are the words for the male animal and feminine nouns are the words for the feminine sorry female animal so let's see the name of the animal les animaux that is the animals le chien means the dog le chat cat le coq hen and le pole also hen only sorry le coq it's a coq only and le pole it's hen and le zo it's a bird le lapin rabbit le cheval horse le poisson fish le vache cow le lion lion le cochon pig lour bear le elephant elephant le gangue spider le souris mouse and le tortue tortoise le sapin it's a snake so these are the animal some animal names are there kindly you have to note the what are the singular animal and what are the plural animals see here they take is article and defini so what are the article and defini and when and they so i it is used for the masculine gender when it is used for the feminine gender and they it is used for the masculine and feminine plural so these are the f- masculine animal and second one is feminine animal and what are the masculine animal asha and shia and sarpon and lapa and cock and nur and poisson and nozo and elephant and shavo and leo and cochon so these are the masculine animal and move to the feminine animal win are gane win tortue win suris win vash so win suris it's not ends with e 
but it's a masculine one sorry feminine one why it's an exceptional one so let us move to the plural one so shat will take one shat shat means what cat so when you change into the plural they shat so some cats and snake they set po and pole hen they poles some hens they taught you some tortoise they wash some cows they lappa some rabbits so this is all about the uh sorry uh see a masculine and feminine and plural it is based on the article that is the indefinite articles so let's see the exercise so you have one exercise that you have to change masculine into feminine so when you changing into the masculine to feminine some endings will differ so first one is alio so when you change into the feminine we leo so you have to change the articles also a uh, into we and leo you have to add some endings l i o n n e and second a shat sha means what a cat so for the feminine we shat see the spelling c h a t d e and third one is we a she dog for that feminine we she so see the spelling C H I E N N E and D one and tigre a tiger when tigress so here the spelling will differ T I G R E S S E and fifth one and elephant when elephant you have to add E only so this is all about the today's content so what are the, uh, let's recall one the today's contents first one is possessive adjectives what are the possessive adjectives मो म मे तो तो ते सो सो से नोथ नोथ नो वोथ वोथ वो लर 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 एंड सेकेंड इज लैंथ्रोकॉसियो लैंथ्रोकॉसियो मीन्स वॉट इंट्रोगेशन इट इज यूज टू आस्क क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस थिंग थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑफ द वन इज लाइफ फॉर्म फेमिलियर दैट इज ए फेमिलियर फॉर्म सेकेंड दैट इज स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एंड थर्ड इज अ sustained form and third content is le pay a nationality that is a country and the nationalities and fourth is le zanimo that is a animals so this is all about today's video so i'll keep uh, some exercise which is based on this video so you have to note by your french note only so thank you messi